this is going to be a, a little bit of a different video. I'm, I'm going to ramble, I'm afraid. So if you're not interested on my take on things or anything like that, feel free to, to move along. It's just a, a talking head, just me talking away. So feel free, minimize the video and li listen in the background as well. I just wanted a, a quick talk about this whole ex Libra, ex org thing. And I know that a lot of people have already talked about it, but I thought I would just wade in and give you my thoughts on it if you're interested. So this whole ex Libra thing, and I'm all for this fork, because if they're going to move X11 on, okay, let's back up a minute. X11 being the X window system that's underneath things like GNOME or GNOME and KDE or any of the other desktop environments that run on Linux, Unix, all that stuff. And currently, well, there was up until a few days ago, there was Xorg and there was um, Wayland. Wayland being the much more modern way of doing things. But Wayland has a lot of issues, so Xorg was still around. Xorg is by far and away more supported, or at least it was, up until this whole thing started happening. And we'll get into that in a minute. But Xorg just ran on almost any version of Linux, any version of Unix, without having to really worry too much. A little bit of configuration, off you went, installed your desktop environment, job done. Jobs are good. And Wayland come along, does things in a completely different way, which breaks a lot of the things in those desktop environments. So they had to be rewritten to work for, for both. Turned out to be a little bit of a pain in the backside. I'm not going to sit here and tell you which one's best because quite frankly, I, I, I don't know. And it, it's not for me to say anyway. I've always used Xorg. And that has always worked for me. I've, I've never not really been able to get it to work. It's always worked. As long as you install the right video card driver on whatever system you're using, off to the races. On BSD, I've never been able to really successfully install Wayland. And I'm going to give it another go soon. And I'll video it as I go. So I can't really say whether... It works well on FreeBSD or not. From my experience so far, I've not got it working. So what happened recently? Well, <laughs> the most active member of Xorg's committers, what's the best word? Defected and made his own fork of Xorg, which he has named Ex Libra. Now, I'm not going to mention names, but I'm sure the people that know about this issue will know who he is. And his goal was to modernize, clean up, and enhance X11. And it's needed, if we're being honest. There are a lot of stuff in it that, you know, needs rewriting or cleaning up or new features adding that a, a modern operating system would use these days. Going back slightly further, the keepers of Xorg and Wayland is freedesktop.org which in turn is, I think sponsored is the right word, financed or whatever you want to say by Red Hat and Fedora. So they, they blocked his account because he went off and forked it, which I guess is, okay, I guess that's their prerogative. They don't have to have committers that they don't want, I guess. That's really down to them. They deleted all of his repositories, all of his merge requests, all of his tickets, and his email access, apparently, allegedly. This, de this developer says that this was all aimed at killing X11 to protect Red Hat or Red Hat's Wayland-centric incentivization. So that, that's the background. The reason that he has done this is because he rejects DEI policies and, and he's branded his project a DEI free zone now that's very political and it has right-wing <clears throat> conservative overtones if anyone's following politics in america 
you'll you'll know what that's all about and i'm not getting into that i'm not touching that with a barge pole i like to think i'm straight down the middle i i uh, yeah i'm not i'm not getting into that so <laughs> there's a lot of I, i'm not even touching the surface really i'm just sort of summing it up there is more to it of course there is uh, it's it to me it strikes as a very political move not just by the developer himself but by free desktop org why they would want to deliberately kill software that's been around for a long time and and just works albeit with it needing a lot of updating and obviously that would mean a lot of time needed to be thrown in it and by extension time costs money so i get why they're not eager to move forward with it forward with it themselves but why stop other people that that doesn't make much sense to me still I will be watching Ex Libra with gusto to, to, to see if it actually does bring a load of new features and, and whether it updates the code and whether it does what he set out to do. I hope it does. I'd like to think that he can fix a load of bugs that are in it and a load of security holes. I'm sure there is some vulnerabilities there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that he does that. Red Hat have, have not covered themselves in glory, let's say that. In case anyone's wondering, I'm trying not to get sued. I'm being vague deliberately. I'm, ju I'm just putting my thoughts. This is nothing aimed at either party. I just don't think that anyone comes out of this looking good, in all honesty. I think the developer himself comes out looking better than, than Free Desktop, mainly because he's trying to get things done. And you can't fault him for that, really. Let's see where that goes. I'll be interested, and I'll be keeping an eye on it. It's... um. Yeah, it's quite an interesting topic and I could probably spend, if, if I was to actually go into details and, and want to list every party and, and what exactly is happening, I, it, this would be like a, a five or six hour video and I, I just, I'm trying to keep it short, I'm trying to not look like I'm rambling, <laughs> which I probably am anyway. I guess my, my take on it is if free desktop don't really care about X11, let someone take it over that's you know it, it's not going to hurt wayland if they're developing wayland there's always room for more than one system we know that we've got more than one operating system that's my take sound off in the comments what you think because it's it's quite an interesting topic whether you agree with corporate interference in free software or not it happens there's nothing we can do about that just have to hope that the licensing stands up to what you want to achieve i guess is the only way to put that let's just hope that there's enough contributors that come to ex libra we shall see i mean there's already one let's have a quick look actually there's already a release yeah version 25 mouse decided to go a bit funny yeah we already had at least 224 tickets opened issues this is going by github yeah hmm so yeah Release 25.0.0.0. It's already there. Three days ago that came. Looks like he's getting the developers in. 34, 34 current pull requests. 49 have been closed. So, yeah. Looks like he's going to get what he wants, which is people working on it. Let's see how many contributors. 502 already. No, plus 488. So there's a lot. Let's hope this works out. It'll be interesting to see. A lot of messages saying drop X Wayland. <laughs> yeah, keep an eye. Give me a comment on what your take is because it's an interesting subject. Yeah. All right. Moving along. So I now have a, a, a forum or bulletin board, whatever you want to call it. Go and check it out on message.garyhtech.uk. That's msg.garyhtech.uk. Come and say hello. It'd be nice to see people there. I think that's really all I've got to say at the moment. Yeah, for now. Don't forget to uh, to give me a comment down below on your take on it. I'd, I'd, like I said, I'd be really interested to know what you think. Thanks for, for watching, as always. It's really appreciated. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in a video in the future. Bye-bye. <laughs> I might actually get to go to bed now. <laughs>